I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The purpose of this exercise is to push yourself to make quick decisions. There are a couple reasons why you want to do this. First, if you are new to the game, there's always a little anxiety when you get your dealt tiles and then you have to go through the Charleston. Sometimes you might get that paralysis of analysis. If you push yourself to make quick decisions, you might be able to desensitize yourself from that anxiety. Also, if you push yourself to make quick decisions, you may be more comfortable playing with advanced players or players who are maybe a little more advanced than you are at this time. And then another reason why you might want to do this exercise is to play online comfortably. In many online platforms, you got to make quick decisions because you got to make decisions on a timer. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you make quicker decisions. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my stopwatch on my smartphone. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. I'm an advanced player, so that's a good guideline. But if you're a beginner, try four minutes. If you're intermediate, try three minutes and then push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions so you get to that two minute mark. When you can make decisions in under two minutes, you'll be ready to play in a tournament or play online comfortably. Flower Dragons 9257815678. I think I would focus on the dragons first of all. Maybe consecutive run. There is a consecutive run hand that uses dragons. Let's pass these three. Nine bam. I was thinking of keeping that nine bam. Okay, so dots with dragons. Let's discard this nine band in a pass. Flower two nine eight five. Here's another dragon and a nine bam. We'll pass those. There's a dragon. Okay, so flowers. Let's see. Five, six, seven, nine. Let's let those go. Tiles to pass. Red dragon. We only need three numbers. I would leave my options open. Pass two. Five, six, seven, dragon or six, seven, eight dragon, or we could maybe play a year hand. I wonder if I gave away twos. One, one, two, bam. I wasn't thinking about year tiles. There's another two, bam. Nines. So there was a two crack in there. Two, bam, that would have been a nice hand for a year hand, but I was focused on consecutive tiles. I think we could make this work.
We have news. That's a strong block. I think I would focus on news. Let's see. We have some little odd potential. Let's pass these. There's a West and a three. We have news. Let's see. Let's, let's let the dragon go. That's a little risky. I'm thinking about maybe a pair hand, but now we have a pung. I think I would break these up. Red. Let's go back to keeping dragons. Let's see. One, five, three. Flower. Keep it. Here's a two. Year hand potential. South. Keep it. Okay, year tiles. I would not pass like numbers. Fives. One, three, five might have worked in here. Let's pass these. Lap. We got dragons. We could play news with dragons. News with dragons or news concealed. We could use these as joker bait. There's a link in the video description below for that strategy. That strategy was created by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. You keep a pair that you don't need and later in the game you discard one on your next turn. Maybe someone will have claimed it to make an exposure with the Joker and then you use your other one to get the Joker. dragons. We do have a two for year tiles, but we also have a lot of three, six, nine, three, six, nine. Let's pass these. There's a dragon three, six, nine with dragons. Nine, two, that's risky no matter how you slice it. Year tiles. Six. Pass. Flowers. Wow. Year tiles. Oh my goodness. Flowers, flowers. Three, six, nine, dragon. I think maybe, oh my gosh, let's go with the dragons. There's a two, three, let's get past the, ooh, that's risky. Let's keep the north, actually. This is risky, three, six, nine. Okay, there's a two, we'll keep it. This is risky, but we're heading in a completely different direction. Flower, building around these flowers and dragons. Okay, now northeast to dragon. What about a quint? Let's pass these three. Wow, <laughs> that was hard. Okay. So I would play either a year hand with dragons 
or a quint. I think I would try to probably push a quint here with any of these. I probably should have kept a six, the pair of sixes. We could have maybe played a quint with those sixes. But I think we can recover with these. Maybe play a year hand with the twos. So I think I would make that my priority. We'd have to discard these, so we only need a pair. Yeah, I think if I had taken more time, I maybe would have played that quint with sixes. Let's see how things went with time. Hindsight is twenty twenty. I should have kept those sixes. That would have been a great quint. We could still make it a quint, I think, with those dragons and flowers. We just need to pair up number tiles. And that's why I let the news tiles go. I think news with dragons might have worked, but I think with a Kong of flowers and those red dragons, a quint with number tiles would have been really nice. Let's see how things went with the time. Sprint one, one minute, 49 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 40. Sprint three, two minutes and 24 seconds. Hindsight is 2020. I think a quint with six cracks would have been perfect. I think that with those number tiles though, we could build them up and still play a quint with those flowers and dragons. Let's see how things went with the time. Sprint one, one minute 49. Sprint two, one minute 40. Sprint three, two minutes, 24 seconds. So I was under my guideline of two minutes in two sprints and over in one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.